Okay, this is a fun little group of tricks based off of the uh, one and a half mount in 5 eight, and then you drop your left hand completely, so you're left like this. The counterweight's just resting in the palm of my hand. The is hanging down there. When you, if you were to dump the counterweight off, it would swing around from here and swing around. So there's some cool tricks you can do out of that because you can dump the counterweight. And notice how I moved my left hand in there. If you don't do that, the whole thing just falls off completely. But you can also, well, I'll do one thing at a time. So one way is to put your uh, left hand in to catch the string as it comes around. I'll show you what happens if you don't do that. So when you're first learning this, just put your left hand to the right of the string. Again, here, kind of in your hand, swing the whole thing, I forgot to mention this, swing this really hard that way, and it'll like pull the weight out of your hand, and do this cool little thing. Um, and the string will swing around, like just put your left hand there, like I said, the string will swing around back into the gap, the O, hopefully, if it doesn't, it doesn't matter, catch the counterweight. Swing it, left hand out there, catch the counterweight in. Like I said, it doesn't matter what happens as long as you get to the counterweight. So this is a cool trick because you can do it all flowy. You can go straight into it. And then there's a bunch of variations on this. Like if you, uh, you can use the same hand. So as the strings leaving this, leaving this side, you move your hand or your finger from here to here really quickly, and it wraps over that way, and you don't drop it on the ground like you did earlier. So did you catch it? Maybe we should do it closer. So there's that, and then another way is to just curl your finger, and you kind of grab it with your finger like that, so that it looks like this. And I like to have it swing around there, and then stall out, and then come back around, so. Grab it, swing it around, stall it, and swing it back out so now you're free again. And there's like a bunch of things you can do with this. You can actually kind of like jump it from one hand to the other. You can you can actually do an aerial from there too. You can throw it up, but there's not enough room inside. You can catch it behind your back. Go straight into that move I talked about earlier. Discover your own things. So I just wanted to point out that you could do something starting from here, swing it around and see what kind of tricks come out. There's like at least five or six tricks that I know that start with that kind of basic idea. So yeah, have fun with that.